The Blackstone engine from Stamford, England is an important piece of British industrial history. When you say giant engine, you mean the gigantic slow speed, horizontal or vertical heavy oil and diesel engines that made the firm renowned. Blackstone engines were the opposite of high revving sports engines. They were built on a simple philosophy, mass equals stability and slow speed equals longevity. The Lands Bulldog PS45 is one of the most famous and unique tractors ever made. It's not noted for being complicated, but for its unique design and sound. The Bulldog's engine design, the hot bulb engine, or crude oil engine, was groundbreaking but simple, which set it apart from almost all other tractors. There are no spark plugs or high-pressure diesel injection in the engine. Instead, the operator has to use a big blowtorch to heat up a huge metal ball the hot bulb, on the front of the engine by hand before beginning. It takes about five to 10 minutes for this to happen. The Henderson Deluxe from 1928 isn't just a motorcycle. It's a legend. It's the best example of American four-cylinder motorcycle engineering from the 1920s. The 1928 Deluxe was not only smooth, but also quite fast. With its bigger engine and better design, the motorcycle could go faster than 100 miles per hour, which was a scary and amazing speed in 1928. The 1928 Deluxe model is the last and best version of this range before the economy fell apart in the 1930s. The Gardner 6LXB was manufactured by L. Gardner and Sons Litted in Manchester, England from 1962 through the 1980s. It became the preferred engine for heavy transport vehicles, buses, and fishing trawlers throughout the UK and beyond. The 6LXB engine served as the core power unit for numerous Leyland, Bristol, and AEC buses, in addition to Foden and ERF vehicles. 
Even decades after the company's cessation of production, the Gardner 6LXB continues to be highly esteemed within the preservation and classic transportation communities, appreciated for its mechanical robustness and its unique sound. The Siddeley Puma is an interesting airplane engine that was very important to British aviation during World War I, even though it didn't last long. The British military depended a lot on big, inline engines, but many of the ones they already had, such the Beardmore 160 Hochpower, had problems with reliability. The Puma was made to be a direct successor, giving it a lot more power and, most importantly, a lot more durability. The lemon factory in Eistrup, Lower Saxony, Germany, made mustard, vinegar, and vegetable oils for a long time. The factory is important because it kept its main power system, which was a steam engine from the early 20th century, and the engine building that went with it. This is now a protected industrial landmark. For decades, the engine was the main source of power for the whole production complex. It powered the machines that made things, including the grinders for the mustard seeds, the presses for the oil, and the pumps for the vinegar. The Rolls-Royce Kestrel is one of the most important airplane engines ever developed. This is mostly because it was the engine that made Rolls-Royce the leader in high-performance aviation, which led to the famous Merlin engine. The Retrotech Kestrel is a great example of both the amazing engineering of the 1930s and the hard work that goes into keeping the sights and sounds of aviation history alive.
The B&W diesel house motor in Copenhagen, Denmark, is a huge piece of industrial gear that is known all over the world for its size and power. This is a B&W 884 VF150 stationary diesel engine, and it is considered one of the largest single diesel engines ever built to operate for electricity generation. The engine is so big that its pistons alone weigh more than four tons each. It is several floors tall and weighs more than 400 tons. The Caterpillar D8 diesel crawler tractor was already a huge, powerful machine before World War II started, but it proved absolutely necessary for Allied forces in every theater of war, making it a true military legend. The D8 was known for being quite strong. Its massive steel frame and basic, powerful diesel engine could take a lot of punishment, and it typically worked in war zones with little upkeep. The Ursa C-45 is a well-known Polish tractor that was made in Warsaw not long after World War II. The narrative is about need, creativity, and using a design that was so successful that it couldn't be ignored. The C-45 is almost the same as the German Lands Bulldog D-9506 type from before the war, even down to its unique sound and engineering.
The Rotoped was a specific conversion kit made in Britain in the early 1940s, a very important time when farming was very important to the war effort. It wasn't a whole tractor, but it was a one-of-a-kind way to solve a common farm problem, getting traction in inclement weather. The Rotoped was a simple, smart way to make things work. It was made up of metal pads that were connected to each other. This changed the rear wheels of a regular wheeled tractor into a basic, segmented track system. The front wheels remained standard tires for steering, 